All right. Welcome, everyone. Today is Saturday, June 9th, and we want to welcome you to the Saturday training. Um, currently, this training happens every Saturday, and um, we have a lot of different people that participate, and today I am I'm doing the training. My name is Quila Bueller. I am a Silver Ambassador, Presidential Silver Ambassador. My husband, Jim, and I have been with Reliz almost 28 years, and um, love this company, love everything about it. And today we're going to talk on the business side. So as we do, let's see if I can get started here. As we go, let's just talk about a few things. And the first is just the successes that perhaps you had um, during the week. And um, I think I am hearing a little bit of scratches, so I am going to go ahead and um, put this in a question and answer mode. So that, that means you need to star six. I'm going to share one thing, and I shared it on a um, call with our group on Monday. But um, I personally love the Now with the Way. That's the product that I got my original benefits from when we first started Relive for the first three years. That's the product that I started. And we've just had a lot, as, as everyone else does, but a lot of stress in our life. And, you know, it hasn't taken the stress away, but it's, it's literally like we used to say, it just kind of rolls off your back. And I just have a better sense of well-being, more energy, uh, waking up um, just just differently. I love this product, and um, I absolutely love it. We've, we've seen an uptick in orders for people that were on this product when we first started that are reordering it, and uh, they're excited. So we, we love this. But um, lots of great things also picked a few dates to have a couple of events in the fall in Portland, and uh, we'll be sharing that um, once we get those dates a um, little bit. They're, they're, they're on the books, but we need to uh, make sure we have someone that's going to be, you know, coming out and, and doing some stuff, so we'll let you know more about just that as we, as we get closer. But who wants to share what they've had success with during the week? You need to star six your line. Anyone? Okay, just for, I know that we've had successes, but I'm going to go ahead and keep moving on because we've got a lot to cover today. All right, special hey, events, kind of talk to, oh yeah, Jim? Yeah, Quill, Jim. Hey, I have a gal that uh, just got started back on the product and, uh, you know, just been, been kind of putting along and she ordered on her own for the first time and, and now she's uh, starting to think about, uh, uh, you know, I just said you can't keep it to yourself. I shared your story how you didn't want to do this business, and I dared you not to share it with anybody, and kind of did the same thing with her. And you now she's got a gal. Uh, I guess she's on some uh, uh, pastor that's back in North Carolina that uh, she's connected with his wife and uh, via long distance, but uh, uh, they've carried on as many conversations, and the, and the gal back there wanted to know why she's so full of energy and so happy and she just said mentioned relive and now the gal's interested so now she's looking more at the business so it's just making those connections and uh, just being a product of the product and that gets people excited I think it is it, and it's so simple we make it so difficult but we're going to talk about a little bit of that kind of stuff today thank you Jen for sharing anybody else have anything that they want to share before we move on all right Special events. Um, shout out those of you that are in different areas. What do you have coming up in your uh, in your area? This is going to be a quick call if nobody participates. <laughs> Anything in Utah? Quila, can you hear me? Hi, Roger. Yes. Okay, so we had we had a great meeting on Thursday, and we've got another meeting coming up on the 21st in Orem. Um, also, Colleen Bischoff is going to do a kind of a brunch and learn on a week from this Saturday at 11 oh, o'clock at her, at her house. Yeah, that's exciting. I'm trying to look at I um I wrote down these dates and I'm trying to find them. Uh, oh here they are. 
So I think on September 22nd and November 10th, most likely we will be having something in Portland um, at the Marriott, Courtyard Marriott, September 22nd and November 10th. So um, those of you, put those in your, right down on your calendar. Um, pretty exciting. All right, here we go. Let's see. Promotions. Um, I just wanted to make sure that everyone is aware of the different promotions that are out there. And if you go to your into your portal and you go on to promotions, you can see them. Um, but they've got that preferred customer auto ship, which I think is pretty good. So if they do it, and I think this is interesting, they can do auto ship either monthly or quarterly. I think a lot of people think auto ship is a, a, a monthly, but it can be quarterly. And uh, they get a 20% discount on their product. And um, that's a, a pretty cool thing. And then when you sign up three preferred people in a single month and they each place an order of $99 or more, you're going to get a $100 product credit. If you um, get three preferred customers doing that at $200 or more, you're going to get a $200 credit. thing is, make sure that you need to call into distributor relations to make that happen. They don't just they automatically say, hey, this has happened. So um, remember the quick start bonuses are there, uh, $250 cash bonus when you personally sponsor three new distributors who reach a quick start or above, and you can earn that bonus, bonus more than once. And that's the way that you build your business. Um, master affiliate bonus, you know, personally sponsor master affiliate, earn $250. And then um, free grand shipping for all new or existing customers who are below 25% level. So I think just make sure that you are aware of all those promotions. It's, you know, it's you you want to know what's what's going on there. So that's um, that's a big thing. All right, Let's go back to here. Hmm. Of course, this is kind of pop up. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out. There we are. Okay. So we've talked about that. Oh. So I'm going to talk about, I, I thought about a couple things um, that I kind of wanted to share today. And I, I looked at one of the old, actually it was an old talk that I did a long, long time ago. And it was five simple steps to your success. And the first thing is kind of to put out there is that you become what you think about all day long. So if you think that you are going to have success, and that you're gonna, you're great, and whatever it is, whether it's success in relive in your life and relationships, whatever it is, um, you will. But if you think that you're not, you're not. And so you become what you think about all day long. And that was um, a quote from uh, Bob Montgomery. And so what I want to talk about, there's actually five steps. And the first one is you need to decide what you want in your life and write it down. Um, you know the book uh, that I love, No Excuses. Um, the Power of Self-Discipline by Brian Tracy. Love that book. And a lot of people don't like it because it's very inwardly focused and it makes you think about what you need to do to change things. And I think sometimes when we write things down, we, we can write things, we, you need to dream in your life. I think that we forget about dreaming. I know that even during, I mean, in our life, in, in periods of my life, I've just thought, oh, I don't know, I'll never make that, or I'll never get that or do that. Or, and it's not so much about getting. It's just more of a quality of life. What do you want in your life? Um, you know, is it, um, in, you know, a new a kitchen? Do you want to be with some more time with your family? Um, do you want to be able to... Um, uh, provide more for family, what, whatever it is, you've got to write it down. But then the other thing is you need to take some action on, um, you know, what you're going to do. And I, I think that that's the most important thing. If, you know, like when you place an order for something, um, you get what you order usually. But even then, sometimes things don't always work out. And I think that that's kind of a lesson that, like, what I don't know how many of you guys have ordered something online or maybe you've uh, placed an order in a restaurant and your food doesn't come back exactly the way you wanted it, so you make an adjustment. And that's kind of the things that we do. We write things down, but sometimes we can do all the right things and it doesn't always turn out exactly how we want, and that just happens. But we make adjustments and we can make it turn out the way that we want. So if you don't write anything down, nothing is going to happen 
um, in your life, really. This step of the process is really important. And I have, a, um, in my office, I've got two different boards, and one is a personal one and one's a business one. And on my personal ones, I've got things that I want to do. I've got things that I want to learn. And then I have, I like to quilt, so I have uh, things that I want to quilt. So um, it's it's got different things in each quadrant. And I've had that on there for about a year, and I'm gradually checking things off. And then the one below that, I, I do have, this is my saying, and my saying is if your life depended upon relive, would you do things differently? Of course you would. If you were backed up against a wall and you had to make this work, you'd make it work. And so, um, you know, the very first thing I have on my list there is uh, requalifying, make sure that I've got my, you know, master affiliates that are requalifying so we can maintain our 10 star. And then, you know, there's other ones there on, on master affiliates, on my goal for the year or how many people we want to sponsor. But you, you just need to write things down. You can't keep it all up in your head because nothing ever happens when we think that we have it, but we don't. There's... There's been there's a very very small percentage um, of people that have ever accomplished anything in their life without writing it down. I think everybody knows that Harvard study where um, you know those people that accumulated for 99% of the wealth were the 5% of people after they studied that wrote their goals down. So it goes back to that 5%. And you have to ask yourself, am I a 5%er? Even in Relive, there's the 5%ers. So we're the 5%ers of, of doing what we want, but then there's even the 5%ers above that. There's always going to be a 5%er, and I think that's why we can always strive to get better. All right, set your commitments weekly and no excuses. I've always shared that, you know, those first three, four years, five years that we built our business, um, that's been the foundation of our business. And we always pivoted toward Relive. There was everything that always wanted to take us away from moving our business forward. But we held ourselves accountable, and we treated this as it was a business that was on a street corner that we needed to make it work. And I think that sometimes it's a pattern that we fall into having a home business is that um, it's easy to... Uh, to pivot away from that when people want us to do things or when it gets a little tough because we really don't have a lot of skin in the game. But if you had a huge investment in this, if you had made $100,000 and Leanne had a business and Roger has a business and, you know, if you have that money in there, you do what it takes to make it work. And um, so be committed. And I think let's make sure we understand what the difference between a commitment um, and a goal. Um, Commitment is, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to be accountable to myself and to someone else. Okay, that, that's a commitment. And the integrity, um, we're going to let someone else know what we're going to do. When you don't tell someone else, you can justify it to yourself by not following through. And it's scary to tell someone else that we're going to do something because it does, it does make us accountable for that. So you're either going to do it or not. Um, it, it's it's important to have that um, self um, discipline, that self you know integrity to yourself. So um, when you don't follow through on something, you're going to feel awful, and your conscience tells you that you didn't keep your word and that you're a failure. So look. In the business, we're either moving forward or backward. Kim always says you're either green and growing or ripe and rotten. You're never right in the middle. And that's kind of how it is with Reload. Um, you know, write things down. I, I have a day planner. I also work off my computer, but I like to write things down. Um, you need to expect that you're going to have success. And it's kind of amazing. I've done this once. Um, I also read this book um, it was by Anthony Robbins, and it's, um, I forget the word. But anyway, he, he talked about in the beginning of the book about how just your posture. If you walk in, standing up straight, shoulders back, head up high, and that you're ready to go out and meet the world, it's amazing how literally the waters open when you walk into a room and people notice. And I've done that. We went to a Blazer game once, and I had just read... Um, 
Oh, it's called Awaken the Power Within by Anthony Robbins. Here's another statistic. Very many, very few of you will ever finish reading a book all the way through. <laughs> he talks about that in his book. But um, he he just talked about how you own own it. And um, I went to a Blazer game, and it was so crowded. And I just walked in. I held myself high. It's like everybody moved out of my way, and it's like, oh, she's important. And I think it's how we view ourselves. So um, you should try that. (laughs) So um, set new commitments each week, and it's very important. So a commitment is is you're going to follow through with that. A goal, we've got lots of goals. We've got daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, yearly goals five-year goals, 20-year goals. Those are things that we're working towards, but the commitment is what are we doing to reach the goal. So take action every day. Um, and, you know, how many people are you going to talk to a day? You guys, taking action, it's hard. It's hard because sometimes you're going to talk to scary people and what you're going to find out is they're just people and you need to care about them um, when you do care about others, it kind of takes that fear away, and I think that's very, very important. And you need to ask yourself, how many, how many people are you really willing to talk to um, in a day? And I think that uh, you'll even hear it on something I'm going to share in a little bit, but Relive is a personal development program described as a business opportunity. You've heard it all the time, but in order for your business to grow, you need to grow. And um, you ever seen an eagle flying with a flock of hummingbirds? Uh, No, because birds of a feather flock together. So, you know, we all need to be um, unified and moving forward together and hanging around people that have that kind of integrity that you do. Um, Be the distributor that you want to attract be that individual that you want. Don't be thinking that, man, you know, I'm going to go out and find someone. You want to find people better than you. But um, if if there's something, I think the most important thing is that we, in taking action, it doesn't mean, you know, fixing your files and, you know, doing your organization. It means literally going out and talking to people. When you talk to people, that puts money in your pocket. It's just kind of how it works. And, um, you know, I've seen people do a lot of different things. People will um, talk to people in a store. Um, They talk to people in, in, you know, whether they're standing in line for something, everyone they know. They buy leads, um, handing people business cards. I've had people go out and they say, do you mind if I, you know, give you some information and do you know anyone that might be interested in earning extra money? Um, or you could, you know, do something. Do you mind if, uh, you know, I give you something to earn extra money? I'm always looking for people like you who are sharp looking and I'm looking to, you know, make an unlimited income. And you guys, we can make this really difficult or easy. The whole thing is you just want to get their card. I used to see people on Saturday that I knew what they were doing. They were literally working Costco. They go in there, they hang around, they find people, and they just say, hey, do you mind if I give you a card looking for people that are looking for a business? And you have a lot of people that say no. But then you have that one person that would say one. And I remember Mindy Jones, she used to be down in um, – uh, in Georgia when she first started building her business and she would go down to the center of Atlanta and when people would get off the bus, she'd be handing them lines. She'd go, hey, you interested in earning extra income? And she would just give them their card. And uh, we did that. Um, I did that a couple times going down to the Pioneer Square. And you have like eight or, you know, probably eight to nine people that say no, but you have one person that says yes. So you have to hand out, you know, 100, 200 cards just to get 10 to 20 people. And out of those 10 to 20 people, you're probably only going to get about five that are going to do something. But are you willing to do that? And so Mindy was willing to do that. And I think, I just think that we're not, sometimes we're not willing to do what it takes to get us to where we want to be. You have to go from A to Z. To get to the end, you can't just skip it. you got to go through and you need to learn the hard knocks along the way. It's just part of how it is. So um, you can do advertising, you can do booths, 
neighbors, social media. You can do lots of different things. But um, the main thing is you need to do it. Others are um, thoughts and words are powerful. Stop this thinking, thinking. Um, I, I think that sometimes, I know I do, we have to struggle to keep our mind in the same place. Um, which one are you thinking the most about how terrible you are or how good you are that you can do this? Um, I think that if you power through these things and at your deepest, darkest times, whether it's relive or personal life or whatever it might be, you do become stronger at the other things. Um, and, you know, all things are created spiritually before they're created temporally. And your thoughts create things. Um, and I, I would just suggest that you write down your your blessings for, uh, you know, 28 days, 21 days, three weeks to a month. Uh, it takes that many days to make a habit. And when you start writing down your blessings each day, it makes you really realize, ah, things are going pretty good. And um, I think that that's, uh, that's very important. Finally, um, keep going and just achieve your goal. Everyone goes through trials, and they're all packaged differently. We all have them, whether it's family, whether it's financially, whether it's health-wise. We all have them. Um, some of us keep it more private. Some of us, we tend to be more vocal about it, but that's okay. But the fact is you have to go through your trials and they, they come first and you can either give up or, or go forward. We used to have a picture, um, of a brick wall and a person trying to, you know, are you going to go through the wall? Are you going to go around the wall or are you going to turn away from it? And you're going to have those walls because sometimes it, things seem like it's impossible, but it's not. And are you willing to, to, to move forward? Because victory is always on the other side. And uh, many of us go through every step perfectly. But then we get to that last step and then we quit because we either think that we can't do it or someone defended us or someone hurt our feelings. And um, I think that, that you just need to... Um, recognize that you're not alone in this fight. And many of us are very um, faith-based. And, you know, when you recognize that you can't do this all by yourself, that not only do you need your friends in Relive, but you also need um, to have faith, you, you're going to make it here. So um, you can't skip a step in Relive and be successful. So it's not like a smorgasbord when you go into um, the Golden Corral and you get all these choices and you can just pick and choose what you want. In Relive, it's a business. There's a business plan and there's steps that you have to do. And for some reason, some of us think that we can just do part of it and not all of it. And I want to encourage you to um, to do all of it. And I think that... Um, if you really commit to starting out doing what I've showed here for a month and then try two months, make a goal to do it six months a year, you know, till the end of this year and then start over again. But we need to have a plan to be moving forward in our business. Um, okay, so now I want to talk a little bit about um, the tools that we have in uh, in Relive, and um, hope this works. Yep. So I think very important that uh, we recognize Relive did come out with um, the new uh, what is Relive video, and I don't know if um, where's Tom? Hold on, this second. Where is he? Hold on, this is my presentation media. Here it is. Here's the opportunity presentation. This is Tom. And you guys, this is the best 18 minutes you've ever listened to for about Relive. Um, in this, you've got the new slides. You have um, videos that are embedded into this. You can get this off of your, um, on your phone. Um, it's a huge file. So I'm, um, 
you know, if you're going to show it, I think it's easier to show it off your phone or just to show it like this. And when I try to download it, I mean, it's it's a huge, huge file. The, um, the other thing is that uh, you also have in print, you've got, um, hold on just a second. No, it's not the train. Hold on. I looked at this last night. Where's, oh, hey there. I was right there. Sorry. All right. So I downloaded these last night, and these are the new, I guess I'm downloading them again. But hold on just a second. Just take a minute. So these are the, um, hold on. Lynn, you just popped up, and I'm going to download my thing here. Oh, wait. Okay, so, oh, I think it did download, maybe it did. Okay, um, what I love about these, okay, what I love about these is you go into how we're a wellness company, um, we talk about what we do. I, I think Rila has always been so, um, we haven't promoted ourselves enough. We make the best shakes. We create a fitness and weight loss program. We've earned 10 product patents. We demand quality and oversee our manufacturing, and we've led the wellness industry for 30 years, period, the end. Then we talk about why you need it. This is how we used to do it. In the olden days, we talked about this. 75% of us don't get enough nutrients. Um, food isn't cutting it. You know, you look at that Big Mac, and I used to always share literally that people thought that that was um, balanced nutrition that had your four basic food groups. And so we're showing what we shouldn't do, but we're telling you what we should do and why our products are better. Go right into that. We talk about the core nutrition. Okay, you've got the now with whey, the, now, the regular now. You've got the classic and the kids now. Then we talk about our targeted solutions. I love this. Instead of having them all lined up and going back and forth, I love how this is done. And then we've got our fitness and weight loss program, which is pretty cool. And then I like here where we've got nutritional coaching, workout videos. Guys, you just follow the slides. And then it talks about, you know, to be a real distributor, you can share the products. You can work part or full time with no boss. $40 gets you started. No risk, 100%. Pretty cool. Then this is how we go through it. It doesn't have all the big stair steps stuff. Retail profit, wholesale profit. You know, we've had that program and we go into all this stuff and we lose people because they immediately think this is a scam. You guys, the way that this is done opens it up so much easier. Be the best boss you've ever had. You can enjoy, you know, family and time freedom. You keep going on, cash bonuses. And then you give back through the Cloggers Foundation. We talk about that. It's your way to get started. You become a district customer, sign up to be a distributor, and retail wholesale and override. And that's it. I love that. I mean, I, I just think it's really fantastic. So that is a great thing. You go on here, you can, um, we've got the Fit3 slides. You've got everything here. So those are some um, incredible tools that, um, you know, that we're using. So become familiar with the tools on your phone that you've got right there. Um, love it. Very fun. So. I don't know how many of you have had the opportunity to listen to the ambassador call. Um, what I wanted to do, it, it actually runs about 39 minutes, which would put us about 10 minutes over. But the first, the first part of it, um, it's, it's pretty important. And I can actually skim through it and pop right in. But we've got Bob Montgomery and Ryan Montgomery talking. And there's some really important things on there that um, were shared. And the reason I'm playing it is because I, I just don't know if everybody has really heard it or not. I'm about to get to it. Um, where am I? I guess I'll go right here. I thought I had already brought it up. Hold on, i got to close my window. Hold on, everybody. Hi, Hugh. It's Dear Fit Value. Uh, 
Let's go out there and all of us expose more people to relive, which is what, and I want to have and lots of new I'm people. Trying. Fantastic. Just absolutely terrific. Jeannie and George Blevins. I'm trying to get I to love a, to where Bob starts, so that way we can end on time. Hold on. Our head coach is, is up in Master both online, offline. But boy, I haven't seen all the go to work and leave. Hold on, everybody. Lord, and here we are. There are all those voices that keep on the line. Sitting there, Luke. Here's your voice. A real tingle every time that happens. And, and Tom, you would, you bring all that excitement you do into the office and you do with everybody you come in contact with. And it's spreading. You see it. It's happening. And I hear it and see it. The numbers are better. And we're going to get better. It's just uh, we're on the way, on the move. There's no question in my mind about that. I have uh, like two or three things that I want to mention to you this morning that I think you're going to be interested in and that you're going, to, you're going to see that it's and find that it's going to be exciting. And we're, uh, I'm happy that uh, of the way things are going, with especially the new tools and the new, the new projects that people have to work with around, not only just in the U.S., but around the world. Things are on the move. And I've, I've never felt better about what I think is the future of Relit than I do right now. And I, people, I've said this before, and I've, I've said it recently, uh, I think in the 30 years that I have been a part of this company, Sandy and I started it back just about 30 years ago, as, as you know. I don't think I've ever felt the way I do right now about what I think our potential is. I think we've got all the right places covered. We've got all the right people in the right places. And I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. I really honestly am. A couple of things that I'm really excited about is that we uh, we had a board meeting last month. Actually, had an annual shareholders meeting. I never like those things. They're they're always a little boring, and you know, really not a lot to them. Other you just got to get through them. And, and we did, but we had a great board meeting afterwards. And, and uh, one of the decisions we made, and I told you a little bit about this uh, a few months ago. I'm not sure exactly what the date of it was when I said something about relive being debt free. We have have a board decision that we have entered into to whereby relive will be you'll be able to say relive is debt free. We will not owe one dime to anybody anywhere in the world. And that is a great feeling for, for me to be able to tell you that. I'm talking about the building, I'm talking about the equipment, I'm talking about the Typewriters, I'm talking about, I don't call them typewriters anymore, but I'm talking about my desk, I'm talking about everything, everything that you see and see that around the world, people. And I think you should be excited about that. I, we've had the money for a while, and it was just a matter of us getting the cash and from the, out of the grubby little fingers of our financial people that uh, we wanted to use that money to pay off everything, and we, we are doing that as we speak right now. So I guess I'm excited about it. I feel good about it. We've got a clear slate ahead of us here, an open slate to do whatever we need to do, and we've got the right things going on that are going to make that thing happen. I'm, I'm excited about it. The other thing that I want to mention to you, and I want to announce to you, that uh, it makes me feel good also, and I'm excited about this, is that there are some some changes going on within the organization. One thing is that uh, I am going to change my role. I've already done that, as a matter of fact, with this last annual meeting that we had last month. And that is that that I will be the chairman of the board, as I have been for 30 years. But I will be the executive chairman, which means I'm going to be working even harder than, than I've ever had before to make this company great. I am relinquishing the, the position of, of the chief executive officer to Ryan Montgomery, who will, who has actually been appointed by the board as the new CEO. I am thrilled with it. I'm excited about it. Ryan is putting his team together, and uh, I, I think that it's, it's going to include people like Scott. 
and and Tom and all the others that you know of that are important to this organization. Obviously, Dr. Carl's going to be doing his role, as he's done for almost 30 years. In fact, it's been more like 26 or 27, but but he will still be doing everything he's doing as the uh, financial, not financial, excuse me, the uh, product officer and, and uh, the one in charge of, of everything that goes on there. I just, I, I want you to know that I am so excited about this because I, I believe that we have got things going for us that we've never, never had before. I, I don't intend to slow down. I, I don't know how to, I don't think I could spell the word retirement. I tried that once when I was 38 years old and it didn't work very well. So I decided I would, I would not want to do that again and started reading it actually. But I'm so happy to tell you that, that I can turn the reins over to the CEO position to Ryan. I'm excited about it, mainly because I know Ryan and I know what his abilities are and I know what his capabilities are, probably more than he does, as a matter of fact. I've, I've watched him since the time he hit the ground about uh, 45 years ago. I'm pushing his age up here a little bit, but, but only by a month or so, something like that. I just, I'm so thrilled about it. I, I've, watched, I've watched him for all the years. Start out with everything he ever did. He always he always became the, the leader of the team, whatever 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 it was, whether it was soccer, basketball, football, baseball, or whatever. He'd start out as the little guy on the team on the end of the bench. And by the time the season was over, then he was he was actually running the thing and, and in charge and making it happen, and probably the most important part of the team that uh, that was there in all those years. And I, I know that's going to happen with Rita. I've, I've seen it. I've seen his abilities as he's worked in the office over the last uh, number of years. I'm not sure how many years that's been, but since he graduated from law school after after his undergraduate degree at Vanderbilt, um, I've watched Ryan, and uh, and I've watched, I know what he can do. And I know that the team he's putting together with the ones he's got around him, like the ones I've just mentioned, and Scott and Tom and the others, there you're going to see some dynamic things continue to happen. I'm excited about it. I feel good about it. I'm going to be a part of it myself. You're going to see more of me probably than you've ever seen before. That's my plan anyway. I want to work internationally. I want to work uh, in the U.S. I particularly like to, to be a part of that girl's friend getaway, Tom, that you talked about a little while ago. That sounds like something maybe I could. If I get an invitation to that, maybe I would go to that. I'm joking a little bit as I say that, but I, I do want you to know that I appreciate all of you as friends of mine. You've been here, you've been committed, you've been dedicated, and you're the people who've made this company what it is. And I appreciate that. I, I place a big value on what you have contributed, each of you, in making this company what it will be what it has been to this point, but what it will be going forward. I don't think we've seen anything yet. I don't think we've even touched the surface of what this business can be, what it can do. I believe in this industry. I believe in network marketing. I believe in our product. I believe in our compensation plan, which is the best in the world, and it gets better all the time as, uh, as changes are being made and, and additions and and all of that, I just, I want you to know I've never been any, felt any better about what I think our future can be than I do right today, right now. And your future is greater than ever. We just, what we need to do is bring more people into this business. More people need to know about Relay. That's all we've got to do. The, 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 all the, the mystery is taken out of it. All the risk is taken out of it. At this point in time, we just, we just have to go to work and keep working and, and build. And I know we will. I feel really, really good about it. I don't think I've ever felt as good as I, I do right now. And I've said that three or four times here in the last few minutes. But I'm excited, Tom. I'm excited for you and Ryan and the others, and all the people, Scott, and I, what he's doing with the international market, many of these places. It's, it's, it's a great time to be a part of Relay. It's, it's a great time to bring people into this business. But the way you're, you're have the, the new programs that are in place that are helping people make their business better. I'm just I'm so excited. 
Tom, I'm going to be here forever. They'll have to throw the dirt in my face before before I'll be back. <laughs> that's, that's just a pledge to all of you that I want to make. And uh, I just want you to know that we're in great hands and we're in a great position to build this company into a multi-billion dollar company. That's billion like me, like and Bob, in case people have forgotten about that. So let's go do it, Tom. I'm ready to go, and I just hope you fine and all the rest of the same way. So I'll turn it back to you, Tom, and you do what you need. But I'm looking forward to seeing all of you very, very soon. See you in Orlando and hopefully before. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. Thank you, Bob. And um, Man, we all love you, Bob, and appreciate you. And we are all so glad that you didn't stay in retirement back there when you were in your 30s and started free and stuff. It means so much to all of us, and you're absolutely right. We haven't seen anything yet, guys. You know we're going to build this billion-dollar company by me and Bob, that we're going to go through that. It's important that we do it because we're helping people every day we get them on these products and introduce them to this business. And you're the leaders who can do that. We all just need to step it up a little bit. Step it up a little bit, and you're capable. Oh, boy, are you ever capable. I'll tell you the thing that gets me fired up and charged up and excited around here is uh, getting to work with Ryan Montgomery. Uh, this guy is amazing. He's got a vision like uh, no other. Uh, I absolutely respect this man so much, the same way that I respect his father, the way I respect Scott. Uh, Ryan, it's been so much fun working with you. And I let me congratulate you, uh, Mr. CEO, and uh, let me turn it over to you, uh, Ryan Montgomery, our new CEO. Hey, Tom, thank you, and um, thank you to Dad also for all the words. Um, it's been a fantastic call, uh, I'll say that. I just start and Tom with the things that you shared and the promotions that are going on, and I do appreciate what's going on today in Relive and, and the excitement that we feel, uh, the belief that we have that Dad talked about, um, and I think also thinking about the future and thinking about a plan for the future, and that's really what we're talking about these days is working the plan. You know, a lot of what you shared, Dad, was uh, a lot of plans, a lot of discussions, a lot of talks for a lot of years that we've had around here as a team. Um, you and I, Dad, and Tom, but and Scott as well, but there, there's others that make up this team that is a, a transition for the future and thinking about the next 30 years. That's the way this has been set up from the beginning. It's not a five-year or six-year short-term deal for us, not for our family anyway. This is something that it's first generation, second generation, and, and I hope to make it a third generation someday. But this is a plan that we've been putting in place for years, and uh, I'm no more excited today than I was yesterday or last year or five years ago. I, I am equally excited today and up to the challenge, knowing that we have work to do and that we have things that we can do to make this business better, to make our products better. But I so look forward to that, the same today as I did yesterday. And you know what? It's, the thing I've learned growing up in this company and having the mentors that I've had, starting with Dad and many of but it's not, it's not about how good I can be. You know, I certainly always want to develop and, and personally grow just like all of you. And, and we all have and relive. That's just one of the great intangible benefits that we have in this great business. But it's not about how great I am or the things that I've done. It's about the team that we can assemble together. And, and that plan is already in place, too. There's not a lot of work that I need to do to go find the right people to put in place. I've got the right people. And they're already been a part of the team for not just a year or two, but decades. That's the sort of longevity that we've had in this in this company, is that the people that founded this company 30 years ago are still involved today, and the people that grew up in this company, like me when I was 14 or 15 years old when Relive started, are now in leadership positions. And I, I, I say that about myself. I say that about Scott. I know, you know, Tom, you, you've been a part of this for 30 years. It's the team that we have assembled inside and outside in the field, the ambassador that I'm talking to right now. That's what's going to set us up for the future. And I 
I just look forward. I look forward to the future. I look forward to this being, you know, almost like a day one. And certainly there's like 30 years of experience and history and achievements that we've had. But I look forward to, to going forward into the next 5, 10, 30 years and seeing what we can accomplish and doing the things that we know we have the potential to do. You know, Dad talked about it. I, I'm a believer in industries. I'm a believer in the people that we have a part of our company. I believe in our product line. It's not like we're in an industry here that is going backwards. The wellness and nutrition, nutritional science industry is just growing and growing. I think you see that because there's probably more competition and more more people in or more companies in our space than there were 30 years ago. But I still believe that we're better with our product line and our science than all of that kind. I also believe that network marketing and direct sales is the place to be. I believe this is a people business, and I believe that. You know, the things that we see in the trends and the statistics in, in network marketing tell me that direct sales and wellness are the, at the perfect intersection of an opportunity. And that's where we sit today as, as we look forward as well. Um, you know, this is a business of momentum. A lot of you have been a part of this for more than 10 years, some of you more than 20 years, some of you all are close to 30 years. You've seen how this has been a business of momentum, even in our company, even in Relift. We've had our ups and we've had our, our times when things have flattened out and stabilized, and then we've had our ups, and that's what this is all about. But I think growth and momentum, the exciting thing that I know is that growth and momentum can happen fast in this business. I remember when I was just getting started. It was 1999. I'm getting out of law school. I'm working more in the legal department of Relive. But I remember during those years of about 2002, 2003, going up through 2007, those four or five years, we went from a company that in the U.S. we were doing maybe around $3 million retail sales, $3 million in retail sales a month, up to about $15 million a month. And just in the United States in 2006, that's the sort of growth that, that all of you have been a part of, that you've made happen, that you've witnessed that. And I, I see that that still happens for in this industry, and there's no reason that we can't have to be a part of that. There's no reason that we can't make that happen one more time. You all know where I come from. You all know where my heart is for Relive. I've grown up with many of you. Um, I've learned from all of you. You know that where we sit here today, that my belief is we have to build onto our foundation, that we can't just be complacent and say, hey, what we built yesterday is going to do for the next 10 years. We have to continue to strive to be better, to grow, to be curious, to find ways to use technology, to modernize our company. You know, we have a foundation that's rock solid with our culture and our core values and our beliefs, the way we do business. But the things that we can do today to reach new people and younger generations, that's where the growth needs to come from. That's where we all can become better. And that's the things that we're working on in here. We've talked about it all year. And every, every ambassador call, I keep referring to our 2018 plan. We're going to modernize this company. We're going to improve our product line, which means new products. We're maybe even enhancing the existing products that we have. But we're also going to be bringing in new technology and new tools. And there's going to be projects that work constantly. There's never been a year that we've had more projects in sales and marketing and in operations than we do right now. It's all in an effort to make this company better, to make the opportunity more attractive for you to go out and bring in new people with it. And so, I, you know, I just, I believe in everything that we're doing is making it better, and we're also simplifying as we go. The simplification, the duplication is the, is the key to this business. We've simplified our product messaging, as you have seen and heard, is that it's as easy as step one, step two. Core nutrition with our now, with two versions. The now way and, and the existing now, and then also classic, I know, is important still. Still a big seller for us. But that's how we've simplified our product messaging. 
Let's get everybody in the world taking our core nutrition, and then they can customize their nutrition with these other targeted solutions. The same is true for our business opportunities. We are doing everything that we possibly can to, to narrow that, to bring that simple, make it so simple to where it's, it, it's like our promotions. It's promotion one, two, three. Do this, get that. That's, that's as simple as it is. And then using XR to go out there and getting people started. So it's promotion one, two, three, and XR. Simple. Allowing people that are brand new in this business to say, you know what, I can do that. Here's a here's a here's a, a guideline or a roadmap for me. I can do that. I can get going. Simplifying every every place we can. You know, it, it, somebody that told me not not long ago that if you think it's simple right now, work to make it even more simple. And I think that that's what we're doing in here and simplify our. I uh, let me just leave you. I I, uh, I I'm watching a lot of baseball these days. I. I need to leave you with a little bit of an analogy, something that hit me just last night. It seems like I'm on a baseball field, a little league baseball field, about uh, every night. My, my two boys are at that age where they're 11 and 7, and they're playing a lot of baseball um, this time of year. We had two tournaments this past weekend, so Tracy and I were going in different directions. I think we had like seven or eight baseball games, so you can imagine, you know what, you know what I'm doing on most uh, weeknights. But last night we were sitting around just a regular season game for my little guy Gage, and uh, they were they were batting towards the end of the game. Actually, this is, this game was um, on Sunday, and it was uh, the coach said something to the team. They said, "You know what? That we're not going to win this game by hitting any home runs. What we need to do is we need to have guys getting on base. What we need to do is to be having we need to get a rally started here." any way we can. And, you know, that's something that I've, I've heard my whole life growing up on a baseball field, all the way through even college. That's something that, you know, baseball, it's not about, you know, hitting a home run that's going to spark the, the, the rally. It's usually just guys getting on base, getting a couple base hits, you know, back to back to back, and then all of a sudden there's a momentum, and then the hitting is contagious in, in baseball. I share all that with you because I started thinking to myself that, it's the same in our business, too. We need to start something that's contagious. There's nothing in our business. There's nothing in Relive that is a home run. I've learned that, I guess, in the two, two decades that I've been a part of this almost. There's no home run. There's no product that Dr. Carl's going to come out with that all of a sudden, boom, is going to make us that billion-dollar company like, uh, like Dad just talked about. And there's no promotion. There's no trip promotion or cash promotion that's going to do that either. I believe that it's a matter of doing the fundamentals and each and every one of us being players on a team that are going out there and getting base hits. And when the, when the other teammates start looking around and they start seeing those base hits and they start seeing that each one of the, the top leaders of the company, the ambassadors, are out there sponsoring and they've got their new master affiliate that the, they're, they're building a new line with, that's the sort of thing that's contagious and builds momentum. And I, I use the baseball analogy because it's not that much different than, than what we're doing here in Relive. It's a matter of going out there and creating momentum. It's keeping it simple, going out there, building momentum, doing the basics, doing the fundamentals every day. And when you look around, you start to see this growth going on. Places like Detroit and Atlanta and Chicago and San Francisco, all of a sudden everybody's looking around going, wow, they've got, they've got some sparks and fire going on in those places. That's the sort of thing that you all have seen before. You know it can happen, and it can happen fast. And I, I look forward to building that sort of a rally with all of you. That's what we're, that's what we're needing to do. We need to, we need to start a rally and relive. I don't know what we need to do. Maybe we need to all turn our hats around backwards or, or dump a bucket of ice water over our head every time that we get a, you know, somebody sponsors a master affiliate on this team. I don't know. But something needs to go out there and go viral as far as start creating this rally, and I look forward to where it's going to take us. I tell you, we're 30 years celebrating it this this year, 30-year anniversary. But as my mom used to say, it's not where we start. It's where we finish. And, and I look at this right now as it's a, it's a new day. And, yes, 
I, I look forward to the, to the work. I look forward to the challenge of being the CEO of, for all of you and for this company. I look at it as day one. I look at this as a starting position for me and for Relive. In a lot of ways, we are starting over. But I believe that our opportunity going forward is better today than what it was 30 years ago with all the people, all the technology, all of the things that we have. Our opportunity is better today. And I say, you know what, it's not about where we are today. It's where we are next year at this time. It's where we are five years from this time. It's, about, it's five years from now, the number of people that are on this call as leaders, that's what counts. So, Tom, I look forward to getting back and doing the things that I was doing yesterday, working with you. That's the thing that I guess I want all of you to know is that in the, in, the, in the coming days, it won't take me long, but you're going to know that we are structured around here for the future with Tom Pennick as a president of sales and marketing, and we're going to be structured with my brother, Scott Montgomery, who is a president of operations in the international community. And from there, we have teams that are going to be working with them, and I, I'm not going to go through all their names. You know a lot of those vice presidents, Kirk Wolf. Steve Albright, Deborah Helwig, and there's others. But under those two, we're going to have our team assembled for sales and marketing and operations going forward. And uh, and I'm excited about it. And I'm excited that I'm excited to, to just make things happen. Okay, everybody, hold on a second. That was awesome. All right. So I think. If you were on the call at the beginning, we talked about um, goals. You know, we had talked about setting your daily, month, weekly, monthly, yearly, five, twenty. If you heard Ryan, that's where Reuben's always been. Is they've always been looking ahead. They've talked about their daily actions and how they continue to move forward. And I love what's happened. I mean, it's exciting and. Um, where the future uh, the company is going. I wanted to share one other thing before we got off. Um, I've been um, I'm, I'm actually getting braces, and um, because my teeth have been shifting around. And when I talked with the technician last week, I said, "Oh, you know, I go I probably don't have very many people that are my age, you know, because I'm going to be 58 getting braces." And she goes. Oh, no. She goes, are you kidding? She goes, 55% of our um, clientele are between the ages of 50 and 70 because we're living older. And I think sometimes we get into this scenario that, um, you know, sometimes I, I've always heard it said that, you know, well, you know, we're just talking to people that are older. Look, our that, that age group is what drives this – and everyone has an opinion, but it drives the, the marketing and the um, demographics for what's out there and, and products that are being marketed. And so it doesn't matter whether you're talking to someone that is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Just go out and talk to them. Um, you know, uh, it, it's just one of those things. It doesn't matter. But make sure that you're not prejudging people. Because everybody needs relive. If you're alive and breathing, and you're, um, you know, you're uh, a, an individual, a, a person living on this planet, you need relive. So, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this call. Um, I hope you guys have a great week. Um, it's getting close to being the middle of the month, and if you've set goals for yourself for this month, make them. Um, don't make an excuse not to to be where you want to be. So have a good week, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.